Hey guys, it's DGC Garage here. I'm um, working on a set of 7A1 big block heads from my uh, 454 Swamp. Now I'm going to uh, try and port match these to my uh, headers and intake gasket, and then I'll do the same on the intake side, the intake gasket, and then to my um, what is it, Edelbrock intake. So I'm going to walk through how I'm going to try and do it. And keep in mind, it's the first time I've done it, but free horsepower is always good. So I'm going to start off with uh, lining up the gasket, making sure it's centered, and then I'll take the paint pen, go through and uh, trace all of the bare metal showing, and then uh, slowly work at it with the die grinder. Uh, got a big one and a small one, they're all carbide bits, so I shouldn't have any problems digging into the cast. And then uh, to clean it up, I got a couple of these, just little sandpaper bits, I got big and small, just to smooth everything out. So yeah. We'll, uh, walk you through the process. So I got all the holes marked out to match the gasket and I'm gonna start cutting. So uh, it's really easy to mess these up. Um, you can always take away material, you can't really add it unless you want to braise and it's not really worth it. I mean these heads are pretty cheap, you can pick them up for about 200 Canadian on Facebook Marketplace, but why spend the extra 200 bucks? Just take your time and uh, keep mashing it to the gasket so you don't go too far and you're just doing it for nothing then. But because they are cast and not aluminum, you do have a lot more to play with. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty simple overall. So we got most of it out um, that I can see with the big one. So now I'm gonna switch to the smaller one and do a little fine tuning on the edge. I'm uh, gonna knock down this a little bit more, but I gotta be careful because you got a head bolt going down there. So don't wanna take out too much there just because I don't wanna risk cracking it when I torque everything back down on the engine, but we'll make it work. So I'll go over a little bit more. And then once I'm done, you can see it's not perfectly smooth. And then that's what the sandpaper fits for. That'll help me get into um, smoothing everything out so that the air is, travels better and, or less restricted, right? So if it's a smooth surface over a jagged surface, it's gonna be nicer on the smooth. So, yeah. <laughs> like that weight reduction and horsepower for five minutes worth of work it's not half bad i'm gonna go through i'm gonna do the rest of them with the carbide bit and then i'll swap out to the um sandpaper one get in there clean everything up just uh it's not going to take off a whole lot of material because i'll use a higher grit like a 120 instead of like 80 and uh just clean up all the rough edges get rid of some of that carbon in there uh blow everything out and uh she's ready to rock and roll <laughs>
is why you don't lend your tools to other people because they beat it crap and now i need another bit nice well got a freshie now um it's gonna cut it a whole lot faster and it's a bigger bit so i gotta just be a little more careful that i don't go over or damage anything but we should be fine better uh, I could probably take a little more off of this one but I'll uh, see how we go with the uh, couple spots that's all right um, I'll switch over to the sander now I have this one which is 60 grit uh, and I don't know what this one is I'm gonna find out and then the other one I have is 120 it's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna try and get this all in there clean up Make sure everything's smooth. And then with this little one, I'll try and get a little deeper, clean up some of this carbon and all the gross stuff in there. Maybe a rough edge that I didn't get. But I'll show our comparison before and after with the uh, sanding and non-sanding, just to smooth everything out. Here's after sanding with the bigger disc versus not. Really cleaned everything up, smoothed it out quite well. No rough edges. I mean. Because I used that newer die grinder bit, it uh, caught on the edges and cut in, but I don't really think that's an issue. I can, uh, I can put on the smaller one and try and knock down some of that in the corner, but I mean, versus the one that isn't, I don't think that's half bad at all. So, four more times. Well, that looks pretty damn good to me. Um, there's definitely a little more I can take off. So I uh, might remark it. So I still got to do that one, and uh, yeah, just keep going at her. It's definitely smooth in there and a whole lot better than it was. Like nothing's gonna cut me or anything. Uh, it is a shame about the deep scratches I left with the new one. But, oh well. I mean, could that cause a crack later on down the road? Maybe. I don't know. But free. So I got my intake gasket all lined up. Ready to start chopping. I'm not going to worry about the water ports on the side. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to blow those off with the towel just to be sure. I don't want any metal floating in there that I don't get out with the compressed air or anything. I mean, I still got to build these heads like they're 100% bare right now. I got nothing in them. Uh, and I will be washing them again in a bar salt tank just to get ready for paint. But uh, just to be safe, uh, an extra, extra precaution. I ain't going to block these off with a rag. Um, and then the middle one, I don't. I don't care about so we're just doing the intakes um but as you can see dude, there's a whole lot of material that can be taken off um like i said cast heads are super thick so i'm not worried about cracking i might take it a little easy in the middle here but uh on the edges it's fair game edges and bottom and top but i mean this gasket doesn't fit as nice as i'd want it to it seems like it's to it move over not everything centered right but uh yeah, that one that one's pretty good this one not good, but all the ball holes are lined up perfect, so it's in the center. But, oh well, I'll definitely shave a little off, but I won't go to that full extent just in case. So you block off these holes, I'll do one, let you take a look at uh, what's happening, and then I'll time lapse the rest. So I got them marked off for that lip on how much bigger I can make them. It's kind of hard to show up on camera. I think even with the light, I get a little better. Yeah, not really. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that white is how much further I can go. And, uh, I guess elongating them and then making them wider. But uh, the main work is going to be done on the inside of them. Just free up anything. Like uh, right here, you can see casting marks. And they're really sharp. So I'm going to get rid of that. Open it up. And then uh, Bob's your uncle. So as you can see from the amount of uh, metal shavings there are, we've uh, attacked it pretty good. I just uh, went ahead and banged out all four. I didn't bother time lapsing it because I'll, uh, I'll just time lapse the whole other head because uh, you're just doing it twice, right? Same thing. So we'll match up gaskets and then there we go. But uh, 
yeah, it's definitely better. A little more open, very smooth. Um, I am going to switch over to the those sandpaper discs, but uh, I'm going to use a bigger one because it fits better than on the exhaust side. So we're just going to give her hell with these. Hopefully, uh, make you breathe a whole lot better than just a little bit better. But, yeah, it should be good. Really, 60 grit. I mean, it's pretty worn, but I'll blow it off with the compressor and try to get some of this gunk out, and then uh, have at her. Well, there we go. It's all ported and polished. Doesn't look half bad. No sharp bits in there. And uh, yeah, should have freed up a little bit of power. Freeze free. Now, yeah, you can go with aluminum heads, but I don't have that money. And apparently, from what I've been told, the 781s are the best flow and factory cast head. So, yeah, they weigh 70 pounds a piece, but I guess there's no positives. Hard for me cheap and free because they came on the engine. But, uh, so, nice video. I'll install all the valves and guides and all that. Whatever, I guess guys are already in there. But, um, yeah, I do, do the whole head build. I am using factory valves, but I got new springs, retainers, um, 10 degree locks, um, new posts, um, girdles, everything. It's all uh, comp. It's a, uh, I know I'll go over more in the, uh, the, the video for that, but it's a uh, comp pumper cam with um, 924-16 dual spring. Uh, yeah, but That'll be all for this video. I don't see any reason to, to time lapse that. I'm already got time lapse some of this stuff. So um, yeah, I'll catch in the next one where we're actually putting them together. Um, I might paint it before. I might paint it after. I don't know. But yeah, I'll uh, catch in the next one. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Even dislike it. I don't care. The algorithm doesn't care either. So take her easy.